The direction of the winds the Coriolis effect. 1. What is responsible for the movement of the ocean currents in the diagram below? The direction of the winds. The Coriolis effect. The shape of the continents. 2. Why do the ocean currents in the northern hemisphere gyres move clockwise? Coriolis effect. Currents in the northern hemisphere are deflected to the right. Currents in the southern hemisphere to the left. 3. Describe how the ocean currents distribute heat around the globe. Warm water travels toward the poles taking heat with it. Cold water travels toward the equator. 4. Describe how the Coriolis effect is different in the northern hemisphere compared to the southern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere. Spin is counterclockwise to the right when looking down on North Pole. Southern Hemisphere spin is clockwise to the left when looking down on South Pole. 5. Describe two factors that determine the density of ocean water and explain how the weather can influence those two factors. Temperature. The warmer water is, the less dense. X sunlight, temp goes up. Salinity. The saltier water is, the more dense. X evaporation, salinity goes up. Precipitation salinity goes down. 6. Why is the temperature of ocean water so high at the equator? 0 degrees latitude. Most direct. Sunlight. 7. Why is the salinity of water so low at the equator? Tropical regions so there is lots of rain. High temperature low salinity very low density. 8. Describe what the density of ocean water is like at the equator compared to other regions around the world. High temperature. Low salinity. Very low density. Because it has a low salinity, it will rise to surface. 9. Describe how water at the equator will move relative to the ocean surface. Because it has a low salinity, it will rise to surface. 10. Why is solar radiation more intense at the equator compared to solar radiation closer to the poles? Most direct. Sunlight. 11. List the major steps of the water cycle, from ocean to ocean. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runoff. 12. Describe how evaporation is different from condensation. Evaporation. Ocean or surface water evaporates and forms water vapor in the atmosphere. Condensation. Water vapor condenses to form water droplets and clouds. 13. What is precipitation and in what forms does it show up on the Earth's surface? Precipitation. Droplets gain enough size to be pulled out of clouds by gravity and fall to Earth. X rain, snow, hail, sleet. 14. How does the water cycle get the energy it needs to function? The sun. 15. In the North Atlantic Ocean, surface water sinks and becomes deep ocean water. Why does ocean water sink in that region of the world? In high latitudes, ocean water is cold. Cooling increases water's density and it sinks. Water is heated up at the equator so it rises. 16. In the Indian Ocean, deep ocean water rises and becomes surface water. Why does ocean water rise in that region of the world? Water is heated up at the equator so it rises. 17. Which zone is the warmest? The coldest? Surface. Deep. 18. Which zone is the freshest? The saltiest? Surface. Deep. 19. Which zone has the most nutrients? The least? Deep water. Surface. 20. Briefly describe the type of organisms in each zone. Surface plankton. Transition fish slash animals. Deep plants slash some animals. 21. Explain what upwelling is and how it distributes nutrients around the ocean. Cold deep water contains lots of nutrients because gravity pulls down the decaying remains of fish. Upwelling brings nutrients nearer to the surface and occurs near when offshore winds move surface water away from the shoreline, allowing cooler water to rise. 22. List four processes that move CO2 into the atmosphere. Volcanic eruption. Respiration. Burning fossil fuels. Combustion. Diffusion. 23. Describe how photosynthesis fits into the carbon cycle. 
plans to remove carbon from the air and convert to glucose, C6H1206. 24. Describe how respiration fits into the carbon cycle. Organisms take glucose, C6H1206, and convert to CO2. 25. List the five major reservoirs of carbon. Rocks. Atmosphere. Biomass. Ocean. Fossil fuels.